Secondhand laptops can be pretty cheap. This Alienware M17R4 here cost me $600 in Australia. That's around $470 in North America. For that money I got a 5 year old laptop with a quad core i7 CPU, 16 gigs of RAM and a fairly capable graphics processor. So should you buy an old secondhand Alienware? Let's find out. Let's start things off with the design. Dell aka Alienware were pushing a very aggressive hardcore gamer aesthetic with this laptop. The soft rubber on the palm rest is pretty nice, as is the really solid feeling hinge. The sharp corners, programmable RGB lighting zones and a beefy 240 watt power supply definitely confirm that this is indeed a laptop made for gaming. Good luck using this laptop on your lap, as it is definitely on the heavy side at a leg crushing 4.26 kilograms, or roughly 9.5 pounds. Oh, and it's also pretty thick, but that thickness means it actually has a decent selection of I.O., including an optical drive, SD card reader, a total of 4 USB 3.1 Type-A ports, eSATA, HDMI in and out, Gigabit Ethernet, VGA mini display port, and every 3.5mm audio jack you're ever going to need. The screen looks pretty good and has adequate brightness and contrast. This is definitely usable for basic content creation. So, for a 5 year old laptop, that actually sounds pretty decent. And if you're a fan of the aggressive gamery design, this definitely seems like a great laptop. Well, there are some downsides however. Battery life, unsurprisingly, is very poor at just under an hour. If there's one thing I noticed, it was that the CPU was getting over 100 degrees Celsius while testing out Grand Theft Auto V. I decided that the CPU might need repasting to the heatsink. I went ahead and disassembled it to find that the vent was completely clogged, hence the lack of airflow. I also took out the GPU and its fan to give them a dust off. Somehow I managed to break the GPU fan, luckily I found another one online cheaply though. It's also cool that you can swap out the graphics card with this laptop. If it ever died or you wanted to upgrade, you totally could. After clearing all the dust and cleaning the CPU die, I reapplied some thermal paste and pieced the laptop back together. The temperature difference was quite substantial. The peak CPU temperature dropped by a whole 27 degrees Celsius, or 80 Fahrenheit. If you're buying a secondhand laptop, I'd say it is definitely a requirement to clear out the air vents. So, with the air vents cleared and the CPU heatsink repasted, how well does it play games? For comparison, I ran Cinebench on the Alienware as well as my Dell XPS 9560. On the GPU, the Alienware scores 67.17 FPS, with the GTX 1050 equipped Dell XPS scoring 84.42. Definitely a significant improvement. CPU scores are also as expected, with the i7-7700HQ and the XPS performing substantially better than the old i7-6330QM, clocked at a lower speed. However, those are only synthetic tests. In the real world, Minecraft pulls a fairly constant frame rate around 90 FPS at 1080p high settings. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is notorious for being somewhat unoptimized. I was getting around 45 to 55 frames a second at 1080p on low settings with the view distance set to high, which is totally playable. GTA 5 at 1080p medium stays at a constant 60 FPS most of the time with VSync enabled. Last of all, let's try Counter-Strike Global Offensive. At 1080p on high, I was getting around 110 FPS, which was really good. So, as far as gaming goes, this laptop is still very usable. If you were to put a better graphics card in yourself, you would definitely improve its overall performance. For the money, I think it's definitely a bargain, and if you come across one yourself, I'd say go for it. Just remember to check the heatsink for dust. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out some of my other recent videos. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. And if you've liked the video, definitely consider dropping a like below. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.